Well, <clears throat> welcome to my channel. I did make a prediction the other day that uh, nobody was going to get any money. And so, boom. Not that it was any money anyway, and all those countries getting all that money. That's ridiculous. Um, so, uh, Justin, because of Justin, I found out that Donald Trump has his own YouTube channel now, and this is what Mr. Trump had to say today. Throughout the summer, Democrats cruelly blocked COVID relief legislation in an effort to advance their extreme left-wing agenda and influence the election. Then, a few months ago, Congress started negotiations on a new package to get urgently needed help to the American people. It's taken forever. However, the bill they are now planning to send back to my desk is much different than anticipated. I have a question, though. <clears throat> Didn't Trump sign uh, that declaration of an emergency and didn't that make FEMA in charge of this country? And then didn't uh, didn't the uh, logo uh, on the podium change to the White House instead of the President of the United States? I mean, am I missing something here or am I crazy and, and this never happened? And then all of a sudden it goes back to normal and there's an election and all this. I mean, what happened with the whole FEMA being in charge? It really is a disgrace. For example, among the more than 5,000 pages in this bill, which nobody in Congress... And um, I wanted to say one more thing just because I noticed uh, the flag. I, I don't remember exactly what the gold... Uh, frill or whatever that is called around the flag but doesn't that mean that the country is in uh, under um, like some kind of martial law or, or some some something that gold trim around the uh, American flag has some kind of meaning that is not good and if anybody can tell me what that meaning is exactly please leave it in the comments Congress has read because of its length and complexity. It's called the COVID relief bill, but it has almost nothing to do with COVID. This bill contains $85.5 million for assistance to Cambodia, $134 million to Burma, $1.3 billion for Egypt and the Egyptian military, which will go out and buy almost exclusively Russian military equipment. $25 million for democracy and gender programs. What is up with these people? Well, I know what's up with them. Why do I even let my mind Costa go there? Rica, El Salvador, Guatemala, it's a great show you guys Honduras, are putting on, Derek Nicaragua, and Johnny. And Panama. Johnny $40 million for the Kennedy Center in Washington, D.C., which is not even open for business. $1 billion for the Smithsonian and an additional $154 million for the nation. Here's my question also. Um, since it's obvious in the story of Biden and Hunter, why can't the President of the United States send his FBI, uh, <clears throat> you know, whatever federal agency to go and arrest these people? Why, why, why aren't they just being arrested? You know, if, if it's that blatant, you know, we know it's a storyline, but if the storyline is, it shows that it's that blatant that these people are committing these crimes of treason, which I think have the, uh, the sentence of death, carry a sentence of death, and these people aren't even thrown in a jail cell. I've been thrown in jail for a cop. I, I, well, I didn't get thrown in jail. I got thrown in a detox center one night. I wasn't drunk. Um, my roommate called the cops because my friends were having sex on the couch. <laughs> 
and I went to jail because they heard her. They heard me in the background while she was talking to 911, tell her to shut the fuck up. And the cop said, "Look, you're going to detox." And I said, "What? I'm not detox. I'm not even drunk." He said, "It's either detox or jail. Which one do you want?" So I ended up going to detox taken all the way to downtown Denver and put in detox sober because they wanted to because I called or because I told this girl to shut up <laughs> uh, you know and these people are are committing treason and and they're just being elected the president likewise oh these my goodness are essentially not open seven million dollars for reef fish management million dollars to combat Asian carp. 2.5 million dollars to count the number of amberjack fish in the Gulf of Mexico. A provision to promote the breeding of fish in federal hatcheries. 3 million dollars in poultry production technology. 2 million dollars <clears throat> to research the impact <clears throat> of down trees. 566 million dollars for construction projects at the FBI. The bill also allows stimulus checks for the family members of illegal aliens, allowing mm. them to get up to $1,800 each. What? This is far more <laughs> than the Americans are given. Despite all of this wasteful spending and much more, the $900 billion package provides hardworking taxpayers with only $600 each in relief payments and not enough money. I'm going to interrupt again. And I'm just going to state my feelings. Yes, I know Donald Trump is an actor. He's a puppet. I'll, I'll tell you what, though. He's our damn good one. And he's hilarious. And as the president, for what he has been the president and, and what he has done as president, um, I do feel like he does have a little, uh, like, free will of his job at, to an extent. He is the best president there has ever been. Even though he's playing a role. I guess I know this. But, I mean, how could anyone hate this man? <laughs> it's just unbelievable. It's given to small businesses, and in particular restaurants, whose owners have suffered so grievously. They were only given a deduction for others to use in business their restaurant for two years. This two-year period must be withdrawn, which will allow the owners to obtain financing and get their restaurants back in condition. Congress can terminate it at a much later date, but two years is not acceptable. It's not enough. Congress found plenty of money for foreign countries, lobbyists, and special interests while sending the bare minimum to the American people who need it. It wasn't their fault. It was China's fault, not their fault. Well, hold on there. See, that's not true. Because if the American people actually stood up for themselves, this, this situation wouldn't be happening. You know, they're allowing it. That's why they do these things, because it's never forced really it's given as an option and people take the option instead of saying no and uh so i don't agree with that i'm asking congress to amend this bill and increase the ridiculously low six hundred dollars to two thousand dollars or four thousand dollars for a couple I'm also asking Congress to immediately get rid of the wasteful and unnecessary items from this legislation. You damn right. And to send me a suitable bill, or else the next administration will have to deliver a what? relief package. And maybe that is. See, now, why is he saying the next administration? Is this uh, another one of the tricks? I think so. I think so. I, I it's, you know. You know how Trump always has like these rope-a-dope moves. Um, I, I'm sure that statement that he just made is 
one of the rope dopes Administration will be me, and we will get. Oh, it there it is. Thank you very much. Wait a minute, I gotta rewind that. I gotta rewind so, that. To send me a suitable bill, or else the next administration will have to deliver a COVID relief package, and maybe that administration will be me, <laughs> and we will get it done. Thank you very much. These people that um, are clearly anti-American, anti-United States, uh, selling out for money and, you know, these politicians, these people need to go to jail. Like I said, I have been to jail for some of the most ridiculous shit ever. And these people are walking around with million dollars in their bank accounts when they only make a certain amount a year. I mean, Dude, if, if you're a drug dealer and you get caught with a nice car, they take it and throw you in jail. And these people are committing crimes against our country? Oh. Whether, you know, the, 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 the elite are giving them the go-ahead to do it, they're still committing a crime. So... I don't know, those are just my thoughts. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys uh, got something out of this. Until next time.